this. So this all comes from experience. So we all know that we've got the big guy up here. God. It's in the Bible, whatever God you want to believe, he created us. God created man. He gave us dominion over the earth. Right? And God gave us, uh, we don't even want to get into that yet. So God created man. And obviously then we start to develop a society and we start to develop laws and the whole nine yards and we decide that we need to be able to call ourselves something other than just man because that's all God created. He just created man. Yeah, as soon as we start, to, yeah, every time we start to alter ourselves from what we were created as, we start, we start to alter our rights somewhat, right? So then I come along and I'm like, well, I want everybody to call me My parents said, well, you know, we want to name our son Dean, and he's of the Clifford family, so we're going to call him Dean Clifford. And they file a particulars of a live birth with the government, and the government sends them back this receipt that we call a birth certificate, and it's got this name on it. Now, we've all heard the theories on what that is. We know what that is. We know what that is. We know what that is. There's no point in even talking about any of that kind of stuff. You can go and you can say, I'm Dean Christopher David of the Clifford family and blah, 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 blah. They don't care. They don't care, and I'll tell you why. Because this name right here includes that name. This name right here, it's a legal name. It's People have referred it to all sorts of things. I've heard the name legal fiction. I've heard straw man, trust, Sestake trust, Sestake v trust. I've heard every name there is out there for what this is, and nobody knows what it is. They've heard it from somebody else. Well, I read the definition of Sestake and Sestake v key trust, and blah, 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 and yet nobody knows what it is. They try making these arguments in court. They try saying to the court, that's a trust, right? Well, you can't prove that. You can't, you know, what makes you think that's a trust? You can probably make a, a logical argument for it. You can make a logical argument, but that logic is irrelevant in court. Yeah, pretty much. Law is relevant. I've seen some real faulty right? logic by judges. Yeah, law is relevant in court, and there's only two forms of law, and we know what those forms of law is. There's God's law, and there's man's law. And God's law is the law where we were told what to do, and that's not open to negotiation. Man was all created equal. No man can tell another what to do. Which means that any agreement between man is a contract, and that's contract law. And that's the only other form of law. So it's broken down into two, and that is it. So what is this? And what I've come to believe personally, and I, I, I know I'm right because it's worked every single time, is this is a presumption of law. Now, most people think that when you say the word straw man, they actually think it's this real legal identity that's defined and, and you know, has some uh, account file somewhere with the government and uh, it exists and it's this one specific little thing that was created and they can positively identify it. And it's not at all what this is. This is basically, uh, for any, anybody that fishes, you go fishing, you just want to throw a line out there and see what takes the bait. Right? This is a presumption of law. They put this name on a document, and it could be anything. And then from there, they have to get this guy. To fit himself into their presumption. And that presumption is that you're bound by one of their statutes that regulates you, which is a contract. Right? So this name could be anything. This name is a person. This is a person. I've heard people say, I'm not a person because a person defined in that act is this and this and this and this. Well, you only sound like an idiot when you say you're not a person. Of course you're a person. But they redefine the word person within their own act. And that's why you say, well, I'm a person, but I'm a person as defined in Black's Law Dictionary. What definition are you using? 
Yeah. Oh, no, feel free to 